What's up, guys? It's Oh No! And I am here to discuss the straight golden nuggets of information that dropped this weekend. We've received a ton of information concerning Resident Evil 9, the Resident Evil Remake Remake, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil Outbreak, Resident Evil Code Veronica Remake, Resident Evil Outrage, Resident Evil, Evil Residence, a Resident Evil Chronicles update, Resident Evil Hunk, and Resident Evil Wrist. Let's start with one of the biggest pieces of news we got. Resident Evil Remake will get a remake for the 30th anniversary. Capcom has plans to do a Resident Evil Remake, Remake, Remake for the 40th anniversary of the series in 2036. Absolutely huge if true. I was one of those people who said that Remake didn't need a remake, but knowing that another 10 years will pass after we get a remake of the remake makes me feel like we might need another remake with all of the graphical fidelity upgrades happening daily. The good news is that series regular Chris Redfield will return in his starring role. The bad news is that Jill Valentine has been cut from the game completely. There's also been talk of Resident Evil Wrist which ports the original game onto a Garmin wristwatch. It's going to be interesting to see how Capcom develops all the controls on that tiny little monochromatic screen, but if anyone can do it, it's Capcom. What about Code Veronica? Who cares? It doesn't have a number in the title. Let's move on to Resident Evil 9. Sources on Tweetster tell us that Resident Evil 9 is going to be a video game set in the Resident Evil universe. Now, the fans have speculated that for quite some time, but no one could confirm whether or not it was true. Now that we have confirmation, it's going to have absolutely massive repercussions for the series moving forward. The game will be a mix of first-person and third-person gameplay, both in a controlled environment and an open-world setting, with fixed camera angles and over-the-shoulder gameplay, as well as quick-time events and slow-motion button mashing. I, for one, am happy to see Capcom getting out of their comfort zone with this one and giving the fans what they want, which absolutely no one can agree on. The kitchen sink approach is exactly what both old fans and new fans have been asking for. Just throw it all in there, Capcom. Give us the Resident Evil 6 follow-up we deserve. It's also rumored to be set in Detroit, another location fans have demanded in the past, and will star series favorite Ark Thompson. It seems Capcom is finally listening to the fans and exploring both locations and characters that the series hasn't visited yet. Now, the leak we got concerning Resident Evil 5 is that Capcom is going in a different direction with this remake because too much controversy surrounding the title has made development difficult. The title has been changed to Resident Evil, Five Guys, and will follow a new storyline featuring Chris, Leon, Carlos, Barry, and Wesker. We're still not sure if Wesker is going to be the villain. Some concept art of Carlos in umbrella clothing suggests he might be the primary antagonist of this entry, and Wesker might do an allegiance flip. That might mean we get to play as Wesker, and I'm here for it. It's also rumored that Irving will have a much larger role to play in this title. What about Resident Evil Outbreak? Another rumor made public last weekend was that the Outbreak remake will be completely online, and that it will require an online connection just to get past the title screen. I think this is important to note because everyone has at least dial-up internet now, and single-player games are whack. I'm really excited about the microtransactions because it will increase the level of challenge. Players will need to buy bullets with their hard-earned cash if they want to make it through Raccoon City alive. There's also rumored to be a trade mechanic so other players can provide resources, and a buy and sell system, which allows players to charge their friends real world money for things like green herbs and bullets. Awesome. One of my favorite announcements was the reveal of a Resident Evil augmented reality game called Resident Evil Evil Residence, a VR title in which you actually see the monsters in your own home like Pokemon Go. This is actually a really cool idea. You're going to be able to turn your own apartment into a little Spencer mansion, and this makes sense because you'll never be able to afford a home buying all of these titles. Now, I know a lot of people were clamoring for information about Resident Evil Revelations 3, but it seems like we got something even better in the recent leak. Resident Evil, The Winter's Chronicles. Yes, that's right. We're getting another Chronicles game, this time giving Resident Evil 7, Village, and Shadows of Rose the first-person rail shooter treatment. There was even a leaked image of a supposed light gun that might be packaged with this game and a prototype arcade cabinet seen in the wild. As far as new stories go, fans have suggested that it will feature a new chapter sprinkled throughout the game that tells the story of Ethan and Mia's first dates, a rom-com set within the Resident Evil universe. I am here for it. 
We're also finally getting the hunk game we've all been asking for, but with a unique twist. Resident Evil, Hunk, will be a dating sim that features mechanics from popular dating apps. You play as Hunk, and your goal is to swipe left or swipe right to see how many dates you can line up. Admittedly, this might be a strange choice, but knowing Capcom, they'll do something unique with this character, and maybe even help the fanbase find love in the real world. And finally, the update on the remastered collection of the original trilogy. Fans have been asking for this one for a while. A collection of the three OG titles in one place for a reasonable price, preferably on Steam. It's not happening.